Have you ever wondered how the Ottoman Empire, once a superpower, has influenced modern Turkey? Let's take a step back in time. This empire, vast and influential, stretched across three continents from the outskirts of Vienna to the deserts of Arabia and the shores of Algeria. Its administrative structure was a marvel, a blend of military prowess and bureaucratic efficiency that kept the empire thriving for centuries. The Ottoman Empire left an indelible mark on the world, not just territorially, but also culturally and politically. However, like all great empires, it had its share of challenges. The decline began in the late 17th century and was exacerbated by the aftermath of World War I. This culmination led to the empire's dissolution, a seismic event that reshaped the geopolitical landscape of the Middle East. The fall of the Ottoman Empire marked the end of a significant era, but it was just the beginning of a new chapter for Turkey. The ashes of the Ottoman Empire gave birth to the Republic of Turkey, a nation with a new identity yet deeply rooted in its past. The architect of this transformation was Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, the founding father of Turkey. His vision was to modernize Turkey, yet keep it connected to its Ottoman past. Atatürk's reforms were vast and sweeping. He introduced Western-style legal and educational systems, replaced the Arabic script with Latin, and promoted a secular state by separating religious institutions from politics. The transition from a sultanate to a republic was not merely a change in government structure, but a complete societal shift. Yet, the Ottoman past was not erased. It remained subtly interwoven into the fabric of the new republic. A testament to this is the country's capital, Ankara, a city that marries modern architecture with Ottoman-inspired aesthetics. Ataturk's vision shaped modern Turkey, but the Ottoman influence didn't disappear, it took on a new form, in recent years, Turkey has been reclaiming its Ottoman roots, but what does this Ottoman revival mean? It's a resurgence of the grandeur of the Ottoman Empire, a time when Turkey was a global superpower, reflected in cultural, traditional, and symbolic ways under the leadership of President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. This Ottoman revival is not just nostalgia, it's a deliberate political strategy. Let's take a look at Turkey's strategic alliances. The defense agreement with Somalia is a perfect example. By providing military support, Turkey is re-establishing its influence in Africa, reminiscent of the Ottoman era. Similarly, Turkey's unwavering support for Azerbaijan is another marker of its aspiration to regain its Ottoman era influence. These alliances are not random. They are carefully calculated moves, echoing the strategies of the Ottoman centuries ago. Turkey is actively rekindling its historical connections, reasserting its position on the global stage. The Ottoman revival is reshaping Turkey's domestic and foreign policies, signaling a return to its imperial past. So, what does this Ottoman revival mean for the future of Turkey? Well, it's not a simple question to answer. The Ottoman revival has sparked a multitude of debates within Turkey, each with its own set of viewpoints. Some see it as a return to a golden era, a time when Turkey was a dominant force in the world. Others, however, see it as a step backward, a retreat into a past that may not serve the country's future needs. The road ahead for Turkey is fraught with both challenges and opportunities. On one hand, the revival could further strengthen Turkey's regional influence, as seen in its defense agreement with Somalia and its strengthening ties with Azerbaijan. On the other hand, it also risks alienating those who desire a more progressive and forward-looking Turkey. As Turkey continues to balance its past with its future, the legacy of the Ottoman Empire will undoubtedly remain a powerful influence. 